Hi friends, in this video I'm gonna review the panel mount uh, VC288 voltmeter ammeter. So let's see what we have here. This is the uh, front view and this is the back side of the panel. You can see the SMD components and connection wires. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is to take off this plastic this black plastic cover and take off the board completely to show you the PCB layout and components. I should push one side a little to be able to take out the board easily like this. Okay, if it comes out, yep. There we go. Alright, the only components on the top layer of the PCB board are these two three digits seven segments. Yes, and on the bottom side we can find a few components such as this LM358 op amp and a 3.3 volts regulator and a microcontroller. Its part number has been cleared but I think it should be an STM8 MCU. Also two potentiometers to adjust the voltage and current. And this is the shunt resistor. These tracks should carry a high amount of current, which I don't think so. Okay, pretty much that's it. I'm so curious to see how this device will perform in practice. I wanna compare the current and voltage readings with this standard Siglent SDM3045X multimeter. I cannot predict linear results because they have not used a precision op amp. However, let's see how it performs. We will find out. Welcome back. As you can see, I have connected this panel meter and the multimeter probes to the same supply to compare the readings from both devices. So in this experiment, we will check how well the voltage readings are. It was a bit difficult for me to adjust the panel meter for this last digit. However, both readings are close enough to start the experiment. A good meter must demonstrate a linear behavior in all readings. So let me increase the voltage and see what happens. Okay, the multimeter screen shows 8.08. .08. However, the panel shows 8.15. Uh, for this voltage, you can see 11.64, however 11.8 on the panel screen. For this voltage, you can see the difference. And 12.73 and 12.9, uh, around 15 and 15.2. You can see the voltages and the differences. As I increase the voltage, the difference also uh, increases the voltage difference okay so this is not a good sign it doesn't show a linear behavior 20.2 20.6 it's not good you can see for this voltage again and this voltage 27.2 27.9 and 27.9 on the panel meter so the linearity get worse and worse let's see for this voltage 29.1 on the multimeter and 29.7 on the panel meter the data sheet of this vc288 panel meter says that it can read the voltages up to 100 volts but I cannot re uh, trust those readings because up to 30 volts it shows such error. If I show you a plot of the voltage readings and data, you will get a better view. This graph puts everything in front of our eyes. So the orange uh, line belongs to the VC288 panel meter and the blue line represents the readings from the Sigland multimeter. So as it is clear, the VC288 panel meter shows a deviation from the true from the true voltage readings. And this error in reading the voltage values gets worse by increasing the input voltage. So this is a clear sign of nonlinearity. Alright, welcome back. 
In this part, I will check how well this panel meter performs in reading the current values. So first I will show the true current value on the multimeter screen and then I will check the reading on the panel meter. Alright, let's start the process. 124 milliamp for the multimeter and let me see what this panel meter shows. 120. It's good. No problem. Let me increase the current. Four hundred and sixty milliamp for the multimeter. Okay. Let me check the panel meter. Three hundred and sixty. This is the first error, and it is not small. I pr I was predicting this because. Uh, it uses an ordinary LM358 op amp for current reading. Okay, 826 milliamp for the multimeter. Let's see what this shows. 630. It, ge it gets worse and worse. The next current. 1.23 amps let's see what this device shows oh my goodness 930 milliamp mm. it's not good at all the next current 1.81 amp okay and this one 1.34 are you sure as it is clear the error in the current reading increases dramatically so the next one would be 2.28 amp and let's see what this puppy shows 1.28 or 9 oh Thank you very much. Hmm. Very reliable. <laughs> okay. The next current. 2.69 or 68. Okay. And this one. 1.98. Oh. Okay. Find the use case for this. Uh, the next one on the last one I go to the maximum 3.06 amp okay let's see the error for this one 2.26 thank you very much please suggest me a use case for this panel meter really its error is so huge especially in the current reading I was predicting this and as I told you in the beginning, the LM358 is not a suitable op-amp for this purpose. Using a precision op-amp is the minimum requirement. However, of course, it increases the final price. And finally, this graph shows everything and you can see the error and deviation from the true values. So, no more explanation, everything is in front of your eyes. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Catch you next time.